Welcome back. Through this video, we'll be understanding the, about the wireless network attacks and also we'll understand how the wireless network authentication and wireless encryption works. So with the widespread of uh, use of internet, so we are able to conduct our business process online and without being tied down by cables and wires. So basically, so wireless networks are one of the relatively new technologies brought to our lives by the internet technologies so they are easy to use facilitate our business process and mobilize our businesses on the downside wireless networks are much more vulnerable to attacks and intruders so basically the uh, Wi-Fi has different authentication modes so that is the open system authentication process shared key authentication process so Wi-Fi authentication process using centralized authentication server. And uh, understanding about open system authentication process, so where it allows uh, any device to authenticate and then attempt to communicate with the access point. And using open authentication, any wireless device can authenticate with the access point, but uh, the device can communicate only if it is uh, uh, wired equivalent uh, privacy key matches then the access point uh, 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 verifies the uh, web keys. So once the web key matches, so then it allows the device to access. And also the devices that are not using web do not attempt to authenticate with any access points that is using web. And here in this picture, you can see how the web authentication happens. So basically in the access point or in the bridge, we'll have the, we'll configure the web key. And from the client device, when they start uh, connecting to the access point, so initially the authentication request is uh, sent to the access point. So for which the access point uh, gives the authentication response. So where the client device has to uh, request with the association and for the association request the uh, access point will respond and also uh, again the client device will uh, send the uh, web data frame to wired network and also uh, for which the access point will be verifying whether the key matches or not if the key matches so then the connection will be established if the key mismatches so then the frame will be discarded and coming to the shared key authentication process. So during shared key authentication, the access point sends an unencrypted challenge text string to any device that is att attempting to communicate with the access point. And the device that is uh, requesting the authentication encrypts the challenge text and sends it back to the access point. If the challenge text is encrypted correctly, the access point allows the requesting device, device to authenticate and both the unencrypted challenge and the encrypted challenge can be monitored however which leaves the access point open to attack from any intruder who calculates the web key by comparing the unencrypted and encrypted text strings and with this diagram you can understand about the uh, key authentication process shared key authentication process so basically from the client device the authentication request is given to the access point and uh, access point uh, uh, sends the unencrypted challenge uh, text to the client device and where the client uh, encrypts the text and then it uh, returns back to the access point so once this is successfully then done then the authentication process is completed and coming to the Wi-Fi authentication using centralized authentication server so basically this authentication type provides the highest level of security for your wireless network by using the extensible authentication protocol that is EAP so basically this is used to interact with an EAP compatible radius server and the access point helps a wireless client device and the radius server to perform mutual authentication and, uh, and derive a dynamic unicast web key so the radius uh, server sends the web key to the access point and uh, which uses the key for all unicast data signals that the server sends uh, to or receives from the client 
and the access point also encrypts its uh, broadcast uh, web key with the client's unicast key and sends it to the client this picture will show you uh, in detail about how the centralized authentication happens in the using in the wireless uh, authentication process so initially the client device sends the authentication request to the access point and for which uh, the access point uh, will be responding back to the client device to defy, specify the username and once the client device uh, specifies the username and the username will be relayed to the radius server and in the radius server the username will be validated and the authentication challenge will be given to the access point and access point uh, gives the same challenge to the client device and immediately the client responds with the authentication response so where uh, the response is sent back to the radius server and again the radius server verifies its database and if the password matches then the authentication is successful and then the uh, authentic uh, authentication success message is given to the access point and again the access point responds back to the client device again the client device uh, challenges the authentication and the challenged authentication is uh, uh, sent back to the uh, radius server once again the radius server responds with the authentication response and the response is given to the client device and finally the successful authentic after the successful authentication the uh, the successful authentication uh, message is sent to the uh, radius server so then the client device uh, is getting connected into the network and it can start transferring the data packets and uh, also this uh, wireless network uses a few protocols so where we need to understand uh, about the encryption protocol which is used in the wireless network so in the wireless network uh, basically four type of protocols are used wide equivalent privacy that is web apart from that we have wpa1 wpa2 and wpa3 and uh, understanding about uh, web uh, that is wide equivalent privacy basically it is a security standard that is designed to provide the wireless network with comparable uh, security to that of the wired networks and also the shared key authentication is a critical component of web helping to ensure that only authorized clients can access the network and also web authentication supports both the open system authentication and also the shared key authentication and where uh, web is not uh, recommended for uh, a secure uh, wireless LAN and the main security risk is hackers capturing the uh, encrypted form of an authentication response frame using widely available software application and uh, using the information to crack web encryption so that's why web is not widely used in nowadays and coming to the wpa wi-fi protected access so where uh, this was uh, developed by wi-fi alliance to provide uh, more uh, sophisticated data uh, encryption and better uh, user authentication than the wide uh, equivalent privacy the original uh, Wi-Fi standard and the new standard uh, which has uh, ratified by the IEEE in uh, 2004 uh, as uh, 802.11i was designed to be backward compatible with the web to encouraging uh, quick and easy adoption and also WPA has a uh, discrete modes for uh, uh, enterprise users and for the personal use and the enterprise mode WPA uh, with uh, EAP uses more uh, stringent uh, 802.1x authentication with the extensible authentication protocol and uh, the <clears throat> personal mode uh, WPA uh, which is going to use the PSK uh, which is uh, uh, nothing but a pre shared key uh, where the WPA PSK is going to use use the pre shared keys for a simpler implementation and management among the consumers and small offices and also the enterprise mode requires the users the use of an authentication server where WPS encryption method is the uh, TKIP that is a temporal key integrity protocol and the TKIP includes as a, a packet per mixing function and uh, a message integrity check uh, and uh, extends extended uh, initialization vector and uh, rekeying mechanism and coming to wpa2 so in wpa 
uh, to uh, it is going to the take up users rc4 uh, uh, cipher encryption with 128 bit key, bit key and 64 bit uh, mic for uh, integrity check but in wpa2 which provides the enterprise and uh, uh, wi-fi users with a stronger data production and the network access controls and also it provides uh, uh, government grade security by implementing national uh, uh, institute of standards and technologies that is NIST uh, FAPS uh, 140-2 compliant with uh, AES 256 bit encryption and algorithm and coming to WPA3 uh, again the Wi-Fi Alliance uh, has developed this in uh, 2018 so which is uh, uh, this uh, Wi-Fi Alliance is a certification program for WPA3 personnel which provides more uh, individualized encryption and uh, WPA3 enterprise which boosts uh, cryptographic strength for the networks transmitting sensitive data. Along with these two deployment modes uh, Wi-Fi Alliance also uh, unveiled a Wi-Fi Easy Connect a feature that's uh, supposed to simplify the process of pairing Wi-Fi devices uh, without displays such as uh, IoT devices and uh, Wi-Fi enhanced open and optional feature that allows uh, for seamless encryption on the open Wi-Fi hotspot network. And that's what for the understanding of the wireless protocols and the encryption mechanisms. And uh, that's all for this video. And the uh, next video will be discussing on the practical demonstration of the Wi-Fi attack. Until then, bye-bye.